You're watching 8-bit days a week, and I'm gonna be playing uh, an SNK game, arcade. And I don't believe this got a PS1 release, it did have a NES release. And this is POW, Prisoner of War. Interesting. So, yeah, you may be familiar with the NES version, and you'll immediately notice that there's a huge difference, and that this game uh, appears to feature uh, two player co op. The game is uh, three button. I have a jump button, a punch button, a kick button, and uh, yeah, I suppose just like the NES version, this is not that easy. Alright, at least in the arcade version we can continue where we died. I wonder if I could go in that house just like... I guess not. <laughs> okay. Come on, give me the gun. There, can actually shoot it. Okay. Stage is shorter, I guess. Or no, I don't remember anything like this on the NES version. So yeah, uh, this seems to continue the trend that SNK has, like uh, most of their games are really military themed, like Ikari Warriors, Tank, uh, Guerrilla War. I mean, the only exception I could think of right now is uh, Psycho Soldier. Oh, and Crystallis here. And I think this is also included on that SNK 40th anniversary package. Oh, he just fell off. So much easier with a gun. Ah, no more bullets. Okay, yeah, this is 
something similar to the NES version. You're gonna go up against the helicopter, chopper, chopper. Um, you need to throw back the grenades back at them. I'm not sure if it's the same here. It's not throwing grenades. No? Hmm, guess not. So there's a difference. You don't have to actually destroy the helicopter, or maybe I missed my chance. Anyway, that's it for this video. This is POW Arcade running on the PlayStation Classic right now. And you're watching 8-bit days a week. Please comment, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.